Hello, this is Michael Love for Four here, and welcome to another video. Now, this is going to be a quick video on a little theory that I've sort of concocted myself about Game of Thrones. Now, um, this will contain spoilers for obviously the TV shows, not the books. Actually, I'm not going to go into anything with the books, but it's definitely got some TV show spoilers in it. Now, this is a uh, theory that I have about um, Jorah Mormon. Um, now, uh, it the very end of season uh, one, throwing it right back, if you've forgotten, right at the very end of season one, Daenerys is giving birth, and uh, she's carried into the tent where Miri Mazdur is performing blood magic on Khal Drogo's body by Jorah Mormont. Now, Daenerys is cursed from this. She loses her baby. She loses Khal Drogo as well, and she also is can't is prevented from having any more babies at all, although she does get out of it three pretty nifty dragons, but you know now with all these with all this cursing that seems to be happening to um Daenerys Jorah hasn't seemed to get anything about it but i I've got a little theory that maybe it's that moment that has cursed Jorah the minute he goes into that tent he he is cursed from ever being able to be with her because it's not it's not soon after this. Where Daenerys kicks kicks him out. That's uh, season two, I believe, because um, uh, Barriss and Selmy comes along and uh, shows up. It might be season season three, yeah, season three when they attack Astafor. That's where Barriss and Selmy turns up and tells Daenerys about all the stuff that Jorah has been doing. So um, and and ever since then, Jorah has been on sort of a tragic hero story. He's trying to do the best thing for Daenerys that he can, but instead, it's just sort of like making mistakes basically he's getting shut down every time he's trying to talk in, talk to her but every time he just seems to get exiled so he's been exiled from everywhere pretty much but yeah there might be some sort of actual curse on him uh, and also with the grayscale now he's, he's gonna die soon so I reckon this could sort of hint us that he's not ever gonna get this relief that he so wants he wants to be able to serve Daenerys, but Daenerys will never accept him. I think it's sort of, this is sort of hinting at like when Daenerys finds or is saved by Jorah, which probably won't happen. She'll probably be saved by um Drogon in the end. So um Jorah will just find Jorah probably won't even find her, and she'll she'll still hate him, and Jorah will just have nothing to do except die essentially, which sort of leaves him as a sort of a very sort of tragic hero. You know, he's not gonna. His, his purpose in the whole game is going to be sort of nothing which is kind of sad because he's such a such a cool character really and I, I really want to see him go on to do cool things maybe he'll invade Westeros with Danny or go back to Westeros eventually and team up for the War of the Dawn maybe but I don't think so he'll, he'll constantly be trying to get to Danny and just won't ever be able to do it and will just eventually die just at the grayscale he won't even die he'll go crazy and have to live out his days with the stone men. And it's just kind of sad for his character, really. But, you know, it's Game of Thrones. You win or you die. And he's dying, not winning. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you tomorrow for my Game of Thrones breakdown. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.